do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will discuss another type of telescope that is reflecting telescope in reflecting telescope we have uh, another advantage which was not there in case of uh, the refracting telescope and what is the basic uh, advantage of this uh, ref reflecting telescope that we will see in this next video okay so let us understand what is reflecting telescope and how it works students let us first see the basic uh, difference between those two telescopes reflecting telescope here basically the principle on which we see the light is uh, basically by reflections obviously that is one reflection refraction takes, takes place at the end but then more often it is uh, based on the reflections and in case of refraction the ray has to pass through different lenses in that case there is uh, aberrations like chromatic aberrations possible which distorts the final image so in case of uh, mirror if you use mirror for reflection then that uh, chromatic aberrations cannot be can be eliminated because in mirrors there is no chromatic aberrations or any sort of uh, lateral aberrations or uh, longitudinal aberrations so here the basic diagram is that this one is the objective mirror this is a mirror this is a this is an objective mirror and we have a secondary mirror over here which is convex mirror this is the convex mirror so there are two mirrors one is objective another is objective mirror another is uh, convex mirror both are the mirrors used and the rays are coming parallel to because the object is at very distant places at infinity so the rays are supposed to be coming parallel to this uh, and falls on this objective mirror the rays coming parallel falls on this objective mirror like this this is how the ray moves and falls on this objective mirror and it is reflected and falls on the secondary mirror that is convex mirror this is also known as secondary mirror it falls on this and after reflection from this convex mirror it moves towards the lens which is placed, placed over here that is a lens convex lens placed at the metal tube this is a metal tube in which the convex lens is placed so the ray the, then moves suppose this is the axis the ray then uh, moves like that like this similarly the one coming from this side falls on here on this uh, secondary mirror and gets reflected to toward the lens following this path finally we see here this is the this is the eye we see from this side The eye we see from here. I will just uh, complete the diagram like that. 
from this side. So here, because uh, the rays are coming far off and reflected from the objective mirror, falls on this mirror and then gets uh, reflected and falls on the convex convex lens. So the, here, the image uh, formed at the eye that we see are free from uh, chromatic aberrations. So this is the advantage of the reflecting telescope. So I'll just write down the main advantage. First of all, we are using uh, two mirrors. And plus one lens. Second point, its advantage is that no form of aberrations are observed in reflecting telescope compared to the chromatic aberrations formed in reflecting telescopes. So this is the and uh, in India we will find in uh, Tamil Nadu the objective uh, the reflecting objective the diameter of uh, objective mirror is supposed to be 2.34 meter and that you can find in uh, Tamil Nadu. This is a <coughs> reflecting telescope. So this is what you should know about the reflecting telescope. Thank you very much.